Hello everyone and welcome to our Share Your Research. In this initiative, led by the Pharmacy Practice Research Special Interest Group, we offer an opportunity for pharmacy practice researchers to share their research in the form of a short video presentation, which will be disseminated through our FIP YouTube channel. I will introduce myself. My name is Victoria Cárdenas. I'm an academic at the University of Granada in Spain and chair of the Pharmacy Practice Research Special Interest Group. During this video, I will be presenting a brief summary of a discussion paper entitled Pharmacy Practice Research, A Call to Action, Developing Collaboration with International Experts on Pharmacy Practice Research. This paper covers a range of topics, including the pharmacy practice research definition, key areas of research, a guidance for developing new services, and future actions are also proposed. Should you wish to expand any of the contents covered in this paper, I invite you to access the full text paper in the journal Research in Social and Administrative Pharmacy. Pharmacy practice research has been defined as the scientific discipline that studies the different aspects of the practice of pharmacy and its impact on healthcare systems, medicine use and patient care. Its scope covers clinical, behavioral, economic and humanistic implications of the practice of pharmacy, as well as practice change and implementation of innovations in routine practice. As you can see, pharmacy practice research has facilitated the expanded role of pharmacies, which will continue to shape the future of the pharmacy profession. Developing effective services and achieving their long-term implementation and sustainability in routine practice is crucial to explore innovative models of care that address population needs and in turn support the advancement of the pharmacy profession. Previous failures in pharmacy practice research can be addressed by using a guidance based on the Medical Research Council framework for complex interventions that will be now presented. To address previous problems in the area, pharmacy practice researchers can go through a number of stages in the planning and execution of their research, which include the design, impact evaluation, implementation, and sustainability of a service. The first step in the process of developing new services is to identify and quantify health needs that can benefit from pharmacy care or from wider healthcare system changes. Health needs assessments can provide clear objectives to design interventions and services which meet patient and population needs. Approaches during this phase include, but are not limited to, qualitative research, epidemiological designs such as observational studies or systematic reviews and meta-analysis. Unless a health intervention is able to respond to current or future societal needs, its future sustainability is likely to be compromised. The objective of the next phase is to design and model the intervention or patient care service in order to address the needs identified during the needs assessment phase. Identifying relevant evidence, appraising other national and international services, and exploring practical feasibility of an intervention in a given context are required. It should be noted that poor design during the development of a service may result in a future implementation failure. A vital step would be to explore existing theories, models and frameworks that are applicable to the service model. Process and outcome indicators that monitor the intervention's performance during the evaluation, implementation and sustainability phases have to be established. Many other components can be considered such as patient and market demand, uh, interdisciplinary care, pharmacy scope of practice, stakeholder views, amongst others. It should be noted that considering the different perspectives from all stakeholders involved is crucial for success, which could be addressed undertaking a co-design approach in which implementation and dissemination strategies are also covered. During the intervention evaluation, the objective is to assess the intervention's feasibility and impact, which is key to establish the added value and contribution of pharmacies. The efficacy or effectiveness of the intervention or service on predefined study outcomes is assessed to generate evidence on its benefits and convince potential service payers, policymakers, and other stakeholders to support its future implementation. 
A common approach is to use the ECHO, Economic, Clinical and Humanistic Outcomes model, which allows to get a balanced overview of the intervention's impact. Once the study outcomes have been identified and defined, an appropriate study design should be selected. Although randomized controlled trials are the gold standard to evaluate the efficacy of innovations in health, alternative designs such as cluster, cluster randomized controlled trials or alternative pragmatic designs can be used. It is worth highlighting that when there is uncertainty about the practicability of a randomized controlled trial or an alter alternative design, a feasibility study would be appropriate. During the intervention evaluation implementation, uh, the objective is to incorporate the innovation into practice or the service. There is extensive evidence supporting the role of pharmacies in a range of these states. However, we know that these benefits cannot occur unless there is effective implementation. Implementation science can assist in addressing the challenges associated with the incorporation of evidence-based services into practice. A range of theories, models and frameworks have been described in the scientific literature, which may vary depending on their ultimate objective. The application of each approach can vary depending on the implementation research question. Regarding study designs, hybrid designs are widely used. In this, components of clinical effectiveness and implementation research are blended according to the study's main objective. Sustainability is the last phase in the creation of health interventions and patient care services, which is becoming increasingly important for health services researchers and policy makers. There is scarce evidence on how to achieve the long-term sustainability of these services, and some debate exists on how this stage should be conceptualized. Nevertheless, sustainability seems to be driven by two dimensions, first, routinization, and second, institutionalization which have been identified as essential to achieve sustainable services. Research approaches imported from other disciplines such as change management, survey value networks or service operation management seem to be potentially useful, useful in advancing in this area. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you have enjoyed this presentation and I hope you can share your research in the coming videos.